Hello viewers, my name is Emmanuel Magbamdele from African Mirror TV in Switzerland. In the studio with me, I have a gentleman, the brain box behind the African uh, Diaspora Council Switzerland, Mr. Celeste Gujuku. You are welcome to African Mirror TV. Thank you, Mark. Uh, we got to know about the information that there will be the first Africa Diaspora Congress in Switzerland coming up uh, on Saturday, 3rd of March 2012. Uh, can you tell us what is this event all about? Thank you very much. Um, the African Diaspora Congress is the first national event that is bringing all Africans together with all the state authorities that are in charge of integration in one platform with different NGOs and the civil society to come to discuss about the Afri integration and Africans living in Switzerland to see exactly uh, what are the contributions that Africans are bringing in integration and to the society here in Switzerland, which of course is not always being spoken about in the media. So this is the first national event. Uh, it has never happened before. Uh, and this is why the African Council thinks it is important to have an event of this nature to show the world who we are and what we are contributing to this society. If I may, uh, you know, in Switzerland you have a lot of um, events going on, uh, on conferences, congress. What actually made this event uh, something different from the other ones we have been seeing? Yes, uh, this is a very good question. What makes it a difference is this. We didn't just come out to do this conference. It is an event that started about 11 months back. We started first to visit African community here in Switzerland. We went to African associations, we went to churches, we went to African shops, African salon de coiffures, and so on. We spoke to them. We also met with the authorities who are in charge of integration. So we have spoken to every actor that is involved in this. So we have seen what are these contributions. We have also seen what are the difficulties, what are the problems. So now we are coming together to share those good contributions and to also seek for solutions to the problems we have met. So this is the first time a conference of this nature is taking place with all this work being done at the background. And that is why everybody should be there, because it concerns all of us. As you all know, we have a lot of Africans, or uh, let me say immigrants, who are really willing to attend this conference, uh, this congress. But you know the situation of the immigrants and foreigners in Switzerland, but financially, some people, they might be handicapped to attend this Congress. Have you, is there any reservation or you have made anything reserved for them to be able to attend the Congress? This is also a very important question. Um, like I said before, uh, before we planned this conference, we went around to meet the Africans. And of course, these are some of the problems that they raised that yeah, if we call us, we will come, but some of us don't have a way. So we have made a plan for that. In all the big cities in Switzerland, be it in Geneva, in Zurich, in St. Gallen, in uh, Biel, in Basel, we have made provision for buses. That means those who are interested to participate in this conference, the means of transportation should never be a problem. They should just contact us, tell us in which city they find themselves, we will connect them to our uh, key persons in those cities who are organizing these buses, and they should reserve a seat for them. Uh, it is free of charge, of course, and we want that everybody participate. Um, you can always call um, 079-476-7483, or you can visit our website, africancouncil.ch. You have our contact at africancouncil.ch. You can contact us from every means, okay. and we will connect you to the bus. Coming is very important, but when somebody is going to attend an event, they actually expect to get something in return. What impact do you think this conference can make in the life of anyone attending it? Thank you very much. Um, when you look at the diversity of people we are inviting, we have representatives of the police. You know, when you talk about the African community here, police institution is a very important institution for us because most of the difficulties Africans are having in integration has to do always with this institution of the police. So we're inviting the police to come. We're inviting the authorities from the migration and integration areas. So now. These problems that we have, we have been seeing in the African community for the past years, this is the right time now to come in front of those people who we think that are contributing to those difficulties, to confront them face to face, 
to bring out those problems face to face and to talk about it. Because some of these things exist, but people don't, don't talk about it. So sometimes when those problems exist, it's simply because there is no good contact between the community and the authorities. The authorities don't even know what is happening in the communities. But this is the first time that that contact is going to take place. That these people are coming to tell them, look, this and this have lived in this society and it is not good for my integration. And of course, that will bring the awareness also to the authorities that there are certain things that are happening which the Africans uh, perceive in a different shape, in a different way. So it is now time to bring that to the limelight to tell them also what we are doing positively, what we are contributing to this society, to the economic and social life and political life of Switzerland, and then ask to, that things have to change. And before we can do that, we have to also show that we are ready and that we are also doing something already on our own part. You know, we, we all believe in every society, there should be a possibility whereby we can learn from one another. If your organization is an African diaspora uh, organization council and your event, if you call it the first African diaspora congress in Switzerland, is it only limited to Africans or that the other Swiss organizations and other immigrant organizations of all the nationality are also invited? Uh, thank you very much. Um, when you talk about integration, it's like a tango, dance of tango, and it takes two to, to tango. You don't dance alone tango. That means um, Africans cannot find themselves alone there. There has to be a counterpart. Integration means living together, vivre ensemble. So there have to be people we are living with. There have to be Swiss people. There have to be other migrants groups also. So it is open to everybody. And that is why if you look at the list of our invitations too, we have the Swiss, we have um, names from other migrants communities because we have to live together. There's no two ways about it. Switzerland has come to be a multicultural society. And the sooner we start meeting each other, talking to each other, the better we have uh, uh, our living together in Switzerland, we have a new shape. And that is why it is open to everybody. In fact, we encourage non-Africans to attend, because that's where they also come to know who are the Africans and what Africans are doing in this society. And that also helps to understand the other one, because sometimes what we call racism is the fear of unknown. When you don't know the other one, you don't want to mix with him. You keep him at bay. But when you get to know him, then he knows who you are, what he, he stands to gain from you, and that's why he opens doors, and then you become friends. This is what we want to achieve in this conference. Thank you very much, and our viewer, once again, Mr. Celeste Guchiku has just said it all. We want to see you all there. It's Saturday, 3rd of March, 2012, in Bern, at the Junior Post in Bern. My name is Emmanuel Mabamdele, Africa Mirror TV, Switzerland. Thank you.